Chris, thank you. A man charged with murder will stay behind bars after an emotionally charged day in the courtroom for a bond hearing. That's going to happen at least for now. The 74-year-old has been behind bars for 47 years, accused of murdering a sergeant with the Peoria County Sheriff's Office. WMBD's Alyssa Powell that was in the courtroom today. She joins us from the newsroom tonight with more. Alyssa? Yeah, Paul and Lauren, Cleve Heidelberg's defense attorneys hoped he'd get out on bond today. This after his murder conviction was vacated just over a week ago. But as state prosecutors work to appeal, the judge says the decision whether to let Heidelberg out is not his to make. And it now goes before an appellate court. I can remember vividly the anguish and the sorrow on the entire family. Dennis Espinoza is the nephew of fallen Peoria County Sheriff Sergeant Raymond Espinoza. 47 years after his uncle's murder, Espinoza says time still can't heal what the family lost. But finding justice has helped ease the pain. Mr. Heidelberg was convicted by a jury of his peers. He has went through 45 plus years of review boards that they upheld it. It is seems clear to me that uh, justice has been served. That's why the Espinoza family was overcome with emotion inside the courtroom just over a week ago as a Peoria County judge vacated Heidelberg's murder conviction while the defense was celebratory, hoping Cleve would walk out at a bond hearing Friday. We've already won. The conviction was vacated, so that was really what the fight was about. But that wasn't the case as Judge Al Perham sided with the state Friday, saying he didn't have jurisdiction over the bonding decision. Heidelberg was once again shackled, and the decision whether to let him walk out of prison now rests in the hands of an appellate court. Heidelberg's attorneys say it's a matter of when, not if. As much as we were hoping today was the day, He's waited 47 years. We can wait another few days or a week. Well, the Espinoza family hopes the man who's been behind bars for nearly five decades for their loved one's murder stays there. We're hoping that uh, this incarceration will remain as it's meant to be. Now, there's no date set for Heidelberg's bond hearing in front of an appellate court, but his attorney said he planned to file today. Until then, Paul Cleve Heidelberg waits in the Peoria County Jail.